so let's first understand pulse code modulation and demodulation so what are the advantages if we send a normal analog signal or a sampled signal directly over the communication cable then because of the parasitic elements of that transmission cable it may be inductance it may be capacitance the resistance the shape of the signal gets changed and sometimes we fail to detect it at the receiver because of the long distance communication so pulse code modulation gives an advantage over the analog signal transmission the sampled uh, signal transmission because it provides you that you can send the signal for a long distance and second is it is immune to noise so even if with the noise if the shape of the signal changes but definitely you can decode it at receiver because you are coding the signal at the transmitter so these are the two major advantages of pulse code modulation and demodulation system one is the long distance communication and second is it is immune to noise it is widely used in different applications like in telecom to send the audio signal then you convert it into the digital that means the pulse code modulated data and then you are transmitting to the receiver at receiver again you are decoding and convert it into the audio information but besides that it is also used into the digital audio recording like compact disc recording this technology is been used the digital video recording so this technology is used so let's see the block diagram because when we will perform the experiments we will see that how these different blocks are very important so the first is the analog signal so analog signal which is coming from microphone or from anywhere <coughs> that signal is sampled either by a sampling circuit or by a sample and hold circuit but most of the time we do it by sample and hold circuit because we had already seen the Uh, comparison of sample and hold and sampling during our the first video those samples now the each and individual samples which have been hold by the sample and hold circuitry is being converted by this a to d converter analog to digital converter it may be a 8 bit analog to digital converter it may be a 10 bit analog to digital converter it may be 14 bit analog to digital converter so more the number of bits a to d converter is having better will be the resolution but for the sake of doing experiments we use uh, 8 bit a to d converter now this a to d converter is basically converting each sample which is been sampled by sample and hold circuitry into a 8 bit data which is parallelly available at the output of digital converter so that is the reason that this parallel set of lines eight lines being given to a shift register this shift register is a register which takes the data parallelly in so the parallel data is been in into the shift register and it is serially output so now the data is coming from a to d converter in the form of eight parallel bits but that eight parallel bits are converted into the serial data and this serial data is transmitted over the communication channel over the communication cable when this serial data comes at the receiver end so this serial data is coming at the receiver end so then the first block is again the shift register whose responsibility is to convert this serial data into a parallel data so all eight bits are again converted into these eight serial bits are again converted into the eight parallel bits which is a input for a d to a converter digital to analog converter so this d to a converter converts eight bits and give you a sampled analog output which is a analog signal now here we are getting the sampled output and we all know how to derive the analog signal from the high frequency sampled output so that is nothing we are going to use the slow pass filter to remove the high frequency samples and get the baseband signal which is the analog signal which is the analog signal so now let's do the experiment practically about this pulse code modulation and demodulation